in today's video, I'm going to be doing how to use this thing. How to use a Fujifilm Instax Mini 8. It's also known as Insta Camera or Polaroid. So, I'm going to, in this video, I'm going to be telling you everything and anything you may need to know about Polaroids before you get one or while you're having one. Let's just get right into this video. So, this is the Polaroid itself. It's actually heavier than I thought it'd be, and um, it's smaller than I thought it'd be. So, in the box that it comes with, it brings a strap, and it has two places you could put it at. Most people put it on this side because you're going to take a picture of this way. Um, this is how you turn it on, and it makes a little noise. I don't know if you can hear it. It does that little noise like me because it's an actual camera, so it's going to turn on. It brings batteries in here, AA batteries. Um, right up here is going to tell you, I'm going to get close-ups after this, but right up here it's going to tell you settings that you can put it in. So the house means like house setting, like you're in a house or the setting that um, lighting is really natural. I know these mean like if it's cloudy. So they just suggest you which one you want to take so the lighting looks really well. That's basically it. You take a picture right here. There's a little button, you just click it and it takes a picture. This is a flash. There's a little people to look in through. That's basically it. Through here, the pictures print out. And they print out this way, I think. And you take it out and you shake it. But blowing on it, making it warm, actually makes it come out faster. Because the warmth makes it come out. And something that I didn't know before I got this, well, before I was about to buy it. Well, I got it for Christmas, but I wanted to buy it recently. What I didn't know is you're not allowed to open this because your film is in here. When your film is in here, you're only allowed to open this when putting a new film in. But when your film is in here, um, it actually can all destroy if you open it and it's exposed to light. So don't open that or you lose 10 pictures. So right now I only have two pictures left in this. But basically what you want to do is film, the film comes in this like plasticky type of thing. You open this up, it's really easy. You just clip it right here and pull it down. You match the yellow tab that the the film comes in with the yellow tab on there. You literally just lay it down. I thought you needed to clip it or anything. No, you just lay it down, close the back. You're gonna take your first picture. Your first picture is gonna be completely black because that's the covering on the film itself. So it'll come out and say, this is not a picture. And you can fill that away. Now you have 10 pictures that you could use. So right here, before you put it in, I'm pretty sure it says so something. I'm not sure what it says, but before you put it in, it says that, and then before you take the picture of the no picture, like the, the, the first one, then after you've taken that picture, it will say that you have how many pictures you have. So the pic, I don't recommend buying this camera if you're not gonna buy the film, because the film is pretty expensive, actually. If you buy film, I recommend buying it in the two pack because you save more money, because it's, they charge you $1.50 for every picture. If you have a 10 pack, they charge you just $1 if you get the two pack. So you're basically saving a, a couple of dollars buying the two pack. So yeah, and there, it does not only come in white. There's a whole bunch of different ones you could get. You get Galaxy, you get Rainbow. So yes, that's one thing. And then the film comes out right here like that. And you take it out. I'm just gonna show you a few of my pictures now. So let's move on to those clips. This is the first picture I've ever taken on the camera. And that's when my grandma came home from the DR. And these pictures actually come out really dark. It's really crazy, but it does. Um, yeah, that's just a random picture in the car. This is my mom and my grandma. Mom was really, really happy to see her. Cause it's been like a year, almost a year. And this is in the car, or actually no, that's still in the airport. My sister, my grandma and I. I was outside the day of Christmas. That was our third picture. This is our second picture. This is like in the morning while we were opening presents. And this is the picture that's developing right now. See, my arm looks like a flamingo. 
those are all my gorgeous little Polaroids that I have so far. And yeah. So a few last things before I go. I just wanted to say the price of this Polaroid. Um, I don't recommend getting it at Urban Outfitters because that's full price. Actually, it's a little bit more than just full price. And um, I got mine at Joanne Fabrics because I didn't know my mom went there to get this. You can get it at Michael's, Joanne Fabrics, Packetans. Packetans sells everything and anything you'd want for your Polaroid. Um, I know at Urban Outfitters they have a whole bunch of things for customizing it and making your own. And also, I recommend getting it on Amazon because it's $50 on Amazon. And at Walmart, they don't have any colors, it's just plain old white, but it's also $50 at Walmart as well. And film, I recommend getting it on Amazon as so. That's basically everything about the Polaroid camera and anything and everything they know about it. So if I left anything out, make sure to comment that down below to help each other out. And make, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I can't believe we hit 200! But we can't believe I hit 200! I'm so happy. Thank you guys so much. I love you all so, 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 so much. Bye!